right, so today's pod review is going to be on the Peach Buccalokia. So, unfortunately, I cannot get to the plant to actually show you the plant, but I might be able to spread some of these plants apart so you can kind of see back there. And you can see there's a ton of Peach Buccalokias all hanging around over there. So... Basically, the plant is a typical smooth stem. It's got a little bit of purpling at the nodes. It's a broadleaf, habanero type leaf on it. And I don't have any flowers that I can at least easily get to anyway that I can show you. But I will pick one of these peppers and we will do a taste test on it. So let's get down in there, if at all possible, and pick one of these. And here it is, Peach Buccalokia. Now, it looks very reminiscent of the Peach Habanero, or the Peach Pimenitz Habanero. So, I can't necessarily say this is a true Peach Buccalokia. It doesn't have any warding on the surface of it, as you can see. There's no warding. It looks just like an elongated Peach Habanero to me. Now, is it going to be like that? Well, we're going to find out if it's hotter than a peach habanero. I just did a pod review on the peach habanero. So if it's going to be hotter than that, then it probably is a peach buccalokia. But as far as I'm concerned, unless it looks something like this, the surface of it, unless it looks something like that, warty like that, you know, then I don't really consider it a buccalokia because... The blue jalokias are very warty like that. So this is a very smooth skin, just like a habanero to me. Could be wrong. We're going to find out. So I know what the heat of a peach habanero is, and it was relatively pretty easy. It was a little hot, but it was manageable. So let's turn you around and give you a taste test. All right, guys, here I am on a rainy day doing another pod review in the greenhouse. And here we go with a, supposedly, a peach buccalokia. So, I'll give you a closer look at it. You can see there's no warding on it. Looks pretty typical of a elongated habanero, which there are elongated habaneros. So I don't know if this is truly a peach buccalokia or a peach ghost pepper. Don't really know. But we're going to taste test it. If it's got some kind of phenomenal heat on it, then it most likely is. Uh, if not, I'm just going to recall this pepper a elongated uh, peach habanero. Because to me that's what it looks like. And I got a feeling the heat isn't going to quite be stand up to the buccalokia. We're going to find out. So... With no further ado, let's get into it. Well, right out the gate, got a nice, even, fruity smell. You ain't gonna believe this. This thing virtually has absolutely no heat on it at all. None. Seeds and all. Look. I just swallowed the whole thing, seeds and all. There might be a little bit of heat, might be, but it's so small, I can't even detect it. I would probably say five on a Scoville scale. There, there might be something. It's lower than, the heat would be lower than a pepperoncini. I mean, it's virtually indetectable. I don't take, I don't, almost don't even feel anything. I just ate that entire habanero. There is absolutely no heat on that thing. I'm, I'm like speechless. I don't know what to say. I, I may have to grab another one. That was actually really good. The taste of it tasted really nice on it, first of all. Had a real fruity peach type flavor. A little bit on the sweet side. No tanginess, really. Was like eating a fruit, really, to be honest with you. It was a very pleasant experience. I, this is completely foreign to me. I, I don't... Even the lowest level habanero should have had some kind of heat. This is virtually a sweet habanero, to, as far as I'm concerned. This is a sweet habanero, which has virtually no heat in it. I've never eaten a habanero that is heatless. Never. And I've tried hundreds of habaneros. Every habanero had some kind of heat. Even if it was low, 
Like my peach pimenitz habanero was kind of lower on the heat, but at least it had heat. This thing virtually had no heat at all. I just ate the entire thing on camera, and I, I, it virtually nothing. I'm going to grab another one. There's no guarantee that the next one's going to be the same thing. It varies from pepper to pepper. So... Here's another one. This is, look at the size of these pods on this thing, too. They're absolutely freaking enormous. They're absolutely huge. So I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I may have to breathe in this pepper completely. The, the sweet habanero. I'll call it sweet peach. Because that's what it is. It's sweet. There's no heat on it. And I'm talking literally no heat at all. Let's take a bite out of this. One hundred percent no heat. First time ever on camera I ever ate a habanero that had virtually no heat in it. That is a first. I can't even find sweet habaneros online as far as I know. I've, I've never seen a habanero available that said no heat at all. This has virtually got no heat. This is one of the most bizarre things I ever, ever experienced here. It, the taste is very mild, no spiciness at all. It's like eating a, a peach-flavored, thin-walled green bell pepper with, with very light, peppery flavor. It tastes You can taste the peach in it. You can taste kind of a, like a light sweetness in it. It's nice and moist, thin-walled. It's very crunchy, but it's got a very light, fruity flavor to it. Very light and mild, doesn't stick around long. It doesn't have that much of a pepper flavor per se. It tastes just like eating any kind of a regular apple or peach or a pear. It's, it's very, very bizarre. I hope I get seed from this to grow this. It's like I, I get like this almost like it wants to give me that soap flavor and disappears right away. It's almost indetectable. But I can taste that soap flavor, and that is the capsaicin, but almost non-existent. I mean, I'm not burning at all. No lip burn, no tongue, no back of the throat, nothing at all. Not even the slightest bit. And I'm going to get to do a second pod review now, because I thought I was going to suffer from this one. Wow. I don't know what to say, guys. This is very, very strange, and I know I have a lot of viewers that come into my channel and my other channels and ask me what's a a sweet pepper they can use in their cooking here you go the sweet peach habanero I guess that's what I'm gonna have to call it guys because this is not a peach buccalokia whatever this is that came out of that seed package it must have crossed with something and lost its heat now we got this now, is this going to stay true every single time? I don't know. I'd have to grow for several years. So we'll have to see. And I will be growing this for several years because I definitely like to eat sweet peppers a little bit more than hot peppers. And that's mainly because I like to cook. And somebody who likes to cook likes to be able to make dishes for guests who come over and things like that without burning them to death and ruining a whole meal. You might spend $40 on ingredients making your meal and you throw one or two buccalokias or uh, Caroline Reapers in there and nobody's going to eat it and you're the only one who's going to end up eating it because it's going to be too hot. So I do like to add hot peppers or pepper, the flavor of hot peppers, but I don't necessarily always want the heat, especially if I'm serving, you know, dinner or something like that. But this is absolutely amazing, guys. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to offer seeds on this on my website yet. I might set up a web page for it. But I do need to get a good amount of seeds first before I can offer these seeds. And then maybe I'll offer these seeds in the, in the future once I can grow it out one or two years without any heat on it. We'll have to see what comes out of it, I guess. I, and I don't know. But that's absolutely bizarre. I've never had a habanero type of pepper that was virtually heatless. Very smooth. Very, very smooth. No undertones or overtones has a little bit of a habanero flavor to it. Your typical habanero, but very light on a scale. 
slight sweetness, no weird aftertastes, uh, no heat at all. Wow, that was incredible. That was really nice, man. That's a pleasure because I've been doing a lot of these hot pepper reviews and sometimes I'm walking out of here like running to the bathroom basically. And uh, it's not a good experience, but I'm, I need to get the pepper reviews done and I'm like forcing myself to do some of these because I know they're really hot and I know you guys want to know what my take is on a pepper and it's like, I really don't want to do this, but I do it for you guys. And so when I come across a pepper like this, man, that's a pleasure, man. That was a real, that was a gift. So what I'll do is, uh, I mean, I got quite a few on there now. I'm definitely going to winter this one over. Absolutely 100% winter that over. And I'm going to redesignate that pepper instead of it being a peach buccalokia, which is what it was supposed to be, into a sweet peach, sweet peach habanero or peach sweet, or I'll come up with a name like that. And I'll just put that in the title because that is what it is. There's no heat on it. If there is heat, it's almost indetectable. It's so low, it's not even a stinging effect. It's like I have to look for the heat to try to see if there is any. It's how low it is. There is something in there, though. There might be a little tiny something. I could taste it in the capsaicin, but wow, that was something. I'll give you one more look. I'll pick another one. I'm going to pick all these off today. And then I have to let these dry. You know, I got to let the seeds cure. There's a pretty good amount of them on there, too. I don't want to eat them all. You know, I want to get the seeds. I don't mind eating them. It's just I want to get the seeds. The seeds. And I want to do a couple photo shoots on this. I mean, look at the size of this pod, guys. This thing is absolutely enormous. Look at the size of this thing. It's friggin' huge. Oh, I definitely got to do some, um, I don't know what, I, it's, it's not me, guys. I didn't cross this over. This is what comes in your packages of seeds, and it does happen sometimes. Sometimes you get lucky, and you'll get one of these that'll come out of there, and it'll be a cross, and you'll be the lucky one who gets that cross, and you can grow it year in and year out, and then eventually that variety may stabilize, and you'll have a very special variety that nobody else has and I consider this very special because it's very different a habanero that is virtually heatless I don't know anybody who sells sweet habaneros and if there is link me below show me the link to a sweet habanero I mean I've tried a lot of habaneros and they call them sweet but there's always some kind of little bit of heat on it you know hundred thousand you know hundred or you know any I've I've had habaneros with heat as low as say you know, like a thousand Scovilles. That's low for a habanero. I've had habaneros as low as that. But then you take the next bite of another pepper and the heat is like off the chart. So it varied a little bit. But the plant itself, this is very consistent. This is a very consistent type of heat coming out of this pepper. This is very unusual. I'm very excited. And I can't wait. I do got more that's on the plant, but they're green yet still. So I hope I get enough of these to actually grow out, you know, two dozen plants next year and get a whole bunch more like this. And if it stays consistent, I think I will be offering seeds for that. So we'll see what happens with it. But I'm very excited for this pepper. It's a very exciting uh, experience to have gone through. And I will definitely uh, keep you up to date on these uh, pods and this plant and everything as time goes on. So I guess that's it for the sweet peach habanero. I guess that's what I'm going to call it now. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.